Now, your Super Doppler 10 forecast with Chief Meteorologist Jeff Edmondson. Big travel day coming up tomorrow if you're getting ready to hit the road and we're looking at good weather to hit the road tomorrow or to take the air. Air travel has been good today. There's been a couple of delays, but nothing major at the Norfolk Airport. And hopefully we'll have a smooth day coming up tomorrow. If you are hitting the road tomorrow, there will be that extra traffic. We have that every time that Friday before uh, Memorial Day weekend. So plan on that for the bridge tunnels and any other location that you may head be heading to. But the good news is that the weather looks fine. It will be windy for the Outer Banks, though. So if you do travel to the south for the Outer Banks, you'll really want to watch that forecast, especially for Saturday. As as the waves will be quite strong for the Outer Banks and high tide is at 2 p.m. on Saturday. So remember that because that's the time when there could be ocean overwash for parts of Highway 12 if the waves, waves and the tide can get that high to cause that and it's happened before. Let's look at this day by day going into the weekend. Saturday rain stays mostly to the south for the morning, starts moving late into the day. Winds are 20 to 30 miles an hour, but we could see gusts of 40 miles an hour at the beach. Sunday, a rainy day, still windy with gusts around 30 miles an hour. And then by Memorial Day Monday, the wind starts to slow down a bit. A lot of cloud cover, clear skies though in some spots for tonight. Down to our south, Hurricane Center is watching this area for actual possible development. See how it's starting to kind of rotate around itself a little bit. It's still connected to a front, so that's why it hasn't developed, but it may become a subtropical storm system. So not totally tropical, but it could bring some wind into the area where it impacts the most. That'll be likely towards South Carolina, North Carolina, but we're going to get some of that wind as well. Right now it's cool outside. We're in the 40s and 50s, 59 degrees in Portsmouth right now. 64 degrees was the high temperature today. The average low this time of year is 62 degrees and we have some 40s on the map. Record lows this time of year are at 44. So it's cold out there. Winds are out of the northeast right now. They're going to stay that way tonight and tomorrow, picking up in strength tomorrow and in speed. We'll have wind speeds tomorrow close to 15 to 20 miles an hour. Those are the sustained winds. Look at the gusts around 29 to 30 miles an hour coming up for your Friday ahead. So it's certainly going to be another windy day with that wind still continuous out of the east. The tides start to pick up a bit. We're not seeing minor tidal flooding. We're seeing it peak around Saturday at 4.3. Same thing also into Sunday. Keep that in mind. Outer Banks, the high tides at 2 p.m. Saturday and then around 3 p.m. going into Sunday. So it's a little bit earlier because it's the ocean, not the bay. But we will see higher than normal tides, nuisance flooding for the Hampton Road cities coming up this weekend. Let's time out the rainfall. Partly cloudy skies overnight, becoming mostly cloudy tomorrow afternoon. Dry tomorrow. Saturday, we see some rain moving in towards the middle of the day, starting to really kind of develop and fill in around 2 to 3 o'clock in the afternoon. So some light rain for Saturday. Not a lot, but a few showers are certainly possible for the area with that wind. Sunday morning, there's a lot of rain, and we continue to have the rain throughout the day Sunday. So more widespread coverage of that rainfall, likely Sunday. And then it's a Monday. The rain starts to slow down a little bit and ease back. Friday, tomorrow, winds are gusting around 30 miles an hour. And then into Saturday, we're seeing wind gusts around 40 miles an hour for the Outer Banks and also for Virginia Beach. So a very windy day coming up Saturday. Sunday, that wind starts to slow down a little bit. Monday, it starts to fade away even more. Temperatures will be in the 70s this weekend with chances for rain Saturday, Sunday, and Monday.